but it's it's the things you do because it's fun and you you don't have to do it. So it can be it can be you know your leisure activities can be around socialising or physical activity or all those sorts of things. So we're interested in what is the what is the benefit of those hobbies and leisure in the way that it, it helps you with boundary management. So that you remember the the early research on work life balance was all about. Um, that the the boundary between work and family was quite permeable. That that work very often fed over into the family life, but not the other way. But it would uh, uh, our working hypothesis is that um, that that the more serious you are about your leisure, the easier it is for those boundaries to be solid. Because on the weekend you're not going, oh, I'm a bit bored. I'm a bit bored. Oh, I could check my emails. Where is she going? Hell no! I have I have some beer to brew. I have some cookie. I, ooh, I'm going to try out that new recipe. So it's it's a way that allows you to say, I have another valued identity. It's a place where I feel good about myself. That's it's not only tied up in work. And so that's the survey. The second one is we're interested to talk to people about. Uh, their about their um, their research uh, about their leisure activities, and particularly the things that are that what they call edge work. So when you are at at the edge, when you are absolutely <laughs> as close to crashing as you can get without crashing. So edge work itself is defined as doing the things where you could die if you don't do it right. So think people in wingsuits and riding motorbikes really, really fast. So those sorts of things. So it's it is it's a lot of fun to do that, but what does it do to your appreciation of the challenges and the stresses you have at work? So it's really about this this notion that this this other side of work, this other side of life that you do freely and for fun and you have a really a blast is actually good because it gives you genuine respite from work.